In this tutorial, we're going to use our scoring technique using a stylus to inscribe the um, patterns that we see here in the strawberry so that we can render realistically those indentations and make the strawberry really pop. So this is the tool I'm going to use. This is my um, marvellous tool. Um, it's, it's just a metal point. Um, it has three interchangeable heads, this one. Uh, they're just magnetic. pulls out like that. Um, depending on the scale, I've got a, a large one here, um, a very fine one, which is the one I use most of the time. But this time, actually, I'm going to use this middle size one. But the first thing I need to do is just draw the outline of this strawberry onto my paper. So I'll just move that to one side. Okay, so I'm not going to be too slavish about getting the exact shape of it. I'm just going to draw the leaf in. And the stalk is there, and then there's a leaf that goes up like that. Because it's a strawberry I'm drawing, not this particular strawberry, I'm just drawing sort of a strawberry. Um, a leaf there, um, and a leaf there, and I think I'm going to leave it there. That's, there's my outline. So, again, if we have a look here, have a look at our strawberry, the indentations are quite regular and they follow the shape of the strawberry. And I've also got to take careful note of where the highlights are, and here appears to be the major highlight. I do use an iPad, by the way, for drawing, because it's marvellous, because I can zoom in and zoom out at will. So it's fantastic, much better than a printout. So I am going to now take my inscriber tool here, and I'm going to start impressing um, where I think that the um, that for the pips are. So I'm not drawing every one, I'm just sort of trying to find the spirit of the thing really. It's quite a regular pattern and it follows the shape of the strawberry. So I'm pressing quite hard. Consequently, I do use quite heavy paper. This is Stonehenge paper, very popular with coloured pencil artists. It has a lovely vellum surface and it, it, it takes colour beautifully. So I'm going to carry on here. I know you can't really see very much, but you will see when I start to apply colour what's happening. And as they get towards the bottom, they get a bit closer. I think I'm sort of happy with that. Put a couple on the edge, disappearing off the edge. And there's one here, and I believe there's one up there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, although the strawberry is clearly red, um, there's a lot of yellow in here as well and there's a dark red in the pits and also there's the yellow here. So what I'm going to do first of all is give the whole thing a light, a light layer of yellow. This is my favourite uh, Faber-Castell and this one is, which colour is this one? It is, I can't really see it very well, it's um, cadmium yellow, so a really nice pure yellow. So I'm going to just give an overall light covering of that cadmium yellow. And Again, when I'm applying the, um, the colour, I'm not doing an up and down, I'm sort of doing ovals. So, I know you can't see very much at the moment, but I assure you that I can see that the, uh, the indentations are not accepting the colour, and they're actually remaining white. So, as I've said before, when we use coloured pencils, it really is all about the layering. That's how you get that fantastic intensity of colour and deep, saturated um, effects. I'll just carry on here. Here is my overall yellow. Okay, so to move on with the rendering. So now I'm going to take a rose colour, carmine colour and I'm going to lightly apply a light layer of this with a dullish point, not a sharp point for this because you'll start to create um, lines. So you should now be able to see where I've put those indentations. The strawberry pips are starting. You can see the colour is not going into there. Because the leaves are green, I'm not going to colour the uh, leaves in carmine, just the strawberry. Here we go, building up the layers. If I'd have just done the red, first of all, 
it, it would have looked sort of flat, there would have been no life to it, but because coloured pencils are translucent, I've mentioned this before, you can see the yellow shining through and it's already, it's a long way to go, but it's already giving a, a much more interesting surface, much more life, you know, in it. So there's my layer of carmine. Okay, now where are those highlights? I actually do like to use my electric eraser to re-establish where the highlights are. If I look at my image here, they're, they're here, aren't they? There's a sort of a diamond shape. So I'm going to, and there's, uh, sorry, down here there are some as well. So again, I'm not sort of being wildly accurate. I'm, I'm, I'm going for the impression really. So up here I'm going to put in with my eraser, just re-establish where those highlights are. They're sort of there, and I think one there and there's maybe one over there so now what I can do is I can start to really put in now some really strong color and we should see this strawberry if all goes to plan um, spring to life okay so now using deep scarlet red and looking at my reference picture I'm going to start to apply more color where it's dark here and I really should start to see those pips coming out. Okay, now some areas are lighter, we can, uh, we'll go back with the eraser. I'm just going to go round some because you can you see, if you look on the image, there are actually lighter areas around the indentation as well, so I've got to try and take account of that. So I'm going to vary pressure and here again leave a bit of a light area. Again, making small circles. lighter pressure just around where those indentations are. Uh, here it's lighter altogether, so less pressure here. And try and blend the transition smoothly. We don't want any sudden um, change in tone or hue. So again it's a matter of layering, don't, don't try and get there all at once. Um, to make it even brighter I can add a little orange and the colour will just get richer. Okay, so I shall carry on using my red and my orange to um, start to really bring out this strawberry. And I shall be back in a minute. So now after working on it for a little while I'm starting to get it to look three-dimensional and I've, I've started to get this highlight here. Um, again if we look at our image uh, we can see that there's a dark area around each seed so I'm going to start putting those in with a, a dark red and a sharp point so around each one just need to re-establish some dark you can see that colour pencil drawing is not it's not a quick fix <laughs> it does take time and effort but, oh, but it's worth it it's, and it's so Oh, they're miraculous. I think it's a miraculous medium, really. It's such, it's so therapeutic to just sit and, and do. And you, you can just carry on. That's the great thing about it. You know, it's not like paint where you, you put it on and you think, oh, no, it's not right. What can I do? Because you can just carry on adding layers. So here, I think, it needs to be a bit darker down that side, I believe. So I can just do it. Carry on. I think down here, it's going to be darker too, so I'm going to carry on adding my layers, trying to put in those shadows where I see them. Again, I'm not slavishly trying to reproduce it. I'm, I'm sort of trying to get the essence of strawberry here. I'm trying to sort of work out how the thing is made and have my version of it. I think you would recognise it as a strawberry, and I think it's starting to happen. I'm going to go over this bit with some yellow and you can even sort of dig in to where you put those little pips, get some yellow in there and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get that richness of colour with layer and layer so you don't, you don't see um, pencil lines, you don't see the surface of the paper. And sort of burnish with yellow but I'm, I'm avoiding that area altogether because that's my area of white. Okay I might even go in with my 
electric eraser and just add a, a little bit more because obviously this is not it's not going to be um, you know like like a like sharp edges it's sort of scattered light isn't it so maybe a bit down here and I think maybe a bit up here and I'm gonna brush down Right, I think what I need to do is work on the leaves a little bit. They're now looking a little pale compared to our strawberry, which is coming on now. So I will go away again and have a little go and um, re-establish those colours of the leaves. Be back in a minute. So um, I have done a little bit of work on the leaves. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a white pencil. This is a Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil, my favourite white pencil lovely and soft, gives great coverage. Um, and I'm going to do a burnish over here now. So just applying a medium pressure, I'm going to go over the whole surface of the drawing. And what this does is it sort of unifies the colours, blends the edges a little bit. Um, it doesn't appear to be making a huge difference, but it, but it, it really is. But what it will also do um, is dull the colours slightly. So what I'm going to have to do is go back and re-establish some of that that brilliance that we had. So I also am going to put some shadows in. Now I'm not going to use black, I'm going to use a, a blue, a very dark indigo um, colour. Black is fine with coloured pencils but in this instance I, I want to be slightly more subtle than that. I'm going to use a blue, um, I think down here, just a little here at the edge of the stalk. And I think here and here where the leaves are over the strawberry it's going to be darker so using circular strokes with a light pressure I'm going to just apply some shadow again down the edge of where the highlight is that will really uh, make that pop out as well because at the moment it's okay I mean it's in the right place and it's sort of getting there but it's not it's not saying much to me so I think what I need to do is increase the um, contrast so I'm just going to go over this area with my blue pencil and then I might go over with some red again I don't want to lose the red so can you see it's starting to um, to pop now it's definitely trial and error with coloured color pencils um, I can also add some real sort of sharp shadows where I think I can see them little touches. Sort of lost it a bit here I think actually so if I think I'm losing it a bit down here I can take my electric eraser and remove some colour sort of take it back and clean down and take my yellow pencil and then I can start re-establishing what I actually think I meant in the first place. burnish using my white pencil. Okay, um, I'm going to work on this a little bit more, see if I can bring the, the saturation back and um, we should nearly have our strawberry finished. Okay, I think this little thing is nearly finished now. Um, I'm just down to the details now and I think to sort of make it really come away from the paper we need to sort of indicate a shadow and I'm going to use my indigo blue here to lightly indicate where a, a shadow might be. Well, you can put it anywhere really, I'm just sort of guessing here. Yeah, probably something like that. Or maybe a little bit of a shadow here. Up the leaf. Again, circular movements, a really light pressure here. And actually what that actually does is it redefines the edge as well. Because it's it's darker down the edge of the strawberry. Okay, just a bit of a clean up there. And a brush. Um I might go on maybe adding um, shadow. 
darker here. So I'm going to go on sort of titivating really. And the more you uh, the more you look and find and find the shadow, the more the threes I mentioned you you will actually manage. If you look at the edge of the strawberry actually there are some tiny little hairs, some whiskers, so I'm going to add those as well to my edge and blend in the shadow line. Okay, so that's my strawberry um, tutorial done. So that's using layers and using the marvellous inscribing tool. I wish I could tell you who made this, I wish I could tell you where I got it from. But um, I don't know. I'll, I'll try and find it on, on Amazon and um, see if I can find out who makes it because there's not a brand name on it anywhere. But it is fabulous because it has the uh, interchangeable um, nibs, which is great. And as I said, it's magnetic. And in fact, because I lose everything, it's great because I can actually store, store them inside. Uh, there you are. So, strawberry. Done. Except that I, of course, will go on for ages. But not now. Okay, so have a go yourself and um, see how you get on. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.